this is my attempt at a <laughs> it's my attempt at a um, bonsai I've been growing it for a little over a year and as it grows I'm cutting the branches but that branch on the right is too straight I've got to give it some kind of a curve I'm trying to giving it an interesting curve from over here and so the reason I found out that it was a caterpillar was because I said what's that extra branch doing sticking out that's actually a, a branch of the tree I got the wrong branch here is the imitation there you see this is oh hey <laughs> see it's soft that's the that's the caterpillar that's pretending to be a stick so let's let's do it again this is the real stick or stick or branch and this is the caterpillar or I think it's a um, I forget what kind of what it's called like a tomato horn caterpillar something like that but it's it's definitely a caterpillar See. It's the caterpillar. Is that not? No, it's focusing. Here, Here we go. Is it focused? And I'm not wearing my glasses, so I don't know if it's focused or not. Here we go. I think it's called a tomato horn or horn tomato caterpillar. Or, and eventually becomes some kind of a moth. But I'm going to leave him there. Let him think he's fooling me. <laughs> but you could see his face here. Those are his little hands. And when he walks, he walks sort of like an inchworm. Uh, maybe that's what an inchworm is. Okay, it's afternoon now. It's like five in the afternoon. And you see he's moved. He used to be over, this morning he was over here. And now he's moved over here. And I figured out how he stays so still you can't see it here, but in the sunlight you see right between... Oh, I, I moved him. There's like right here from the stick to his mouth, there's a very, very thin web, like, like a little strand. So I guess he's hanging on to that. Oops. And that's what's helping him stay put, because he probably gets tired. Look at this crazy guy. Look where he is this morning. He decided to crawl down. Yesterday he was up there. Some, for some reason, I guess overnight, he decided to crawl down here. And now he's doing like a acrobatics. <laughs> Look at him. Crazy thing. He's not going to fool anyone. No, sticks don't grow between... Hey, buddy, I got some news for you. You're giving yourself away because sticks don't grow like that. He thinks he's fooling me. He thinks he's so smart. Also, in my little bonsai that I'm trying to make, there's a lizard that's always jumping out every time I come near. I think he hides under here. And I have a snail in there, too. There he is, see? But he comes out when he feels like. Sometimes I leave lettuce. But I guess if he doesn't have food here, he'll go find whatever he eats naturally. And these are so interesting. See how this is green? They dry up when there's, like, when they're not completely... This one's green. It looks like they're dead, but when there's enough water, they get green again. And they, so they wrinkle up when there's no, no water, and when it rains, they get big and green. They're really cool. You see them growing on trees. See, they grow like a, I'm trying to get it to stick somewhere. Like maybe even stick to here, that would be cool. I've kind of tried, but you know, and they have to grow and spread, but it's really cool. You'll see them on tree branches, all along the top of the tree branches. And when it rains, it gets very green and beautiful. So even though it looks dead, if it rains, I'll show you later how they get big and green. And this, these are just air plants. They, you'll find them on the ground. They, they grow all over the trees up in the air. And then when they get too heavy, they start dropping little baby ones. They just live like that off off the air and I don't know what they how they get their nutrients. I think you can plant them in the in the ground, but I just leave them like that. So my little Japanese garden which looks ugly now, but in spring it'll it'll start growing. These stop growing in the winter, but in spring it'll start really sprouting. It grows like crazy, and that's when I'm going to try to shape this one 
which now is a little too straight for my taste. I like it to get crooked, like a, you know, like bonsais. So this morning I came out and I was looking for my little friend and I said, oh, he's gone, I can't find him. You know, I figured, okay, he's moved on to brighter pastures. And then I came across him, he's over here now, next to his twin. See, that's him. I think the markings, I mean, maybe one of you all could tell me what he is. He might be a horned tomato, and like, but he's little, so like his horn is going to come out eventually later. Because, I mean, I see a lot of things on the internet that look like him. You know, um, here we go. Let's see how close I can get before it gets blurry. See, he's got like claws in the front. There's his, his head. Oh, that's doing, that's good. I'm, I'm able to. And then on the, then down here, that's what his body looks like. And I see like very slight markings that remind me of that horned tomato caterpillar. But like that maybe his horn, and see he's got like suction cups and, shoot. He's got suction cups in the back. If I go in slow. All right, bye guys.